first session back on the bike. We've been training and got some stuff figured out with the front end. Once we get back out there, we can really put some good laps in and, and get going. Take a tooth off the back just to get a little more room for her on the corner exit. Like right now, she's having to shift immediately coming off the corners, trying to get her a tiny bit more room so she can make her shift easier, like a little further down the track. The bike was pretty close to how Kayla liked it. Pretty on top of it this weekend. Barbara always presents a pretty unique challenge as far as setting up the bike because we tend to get a lot of chatter here. Get him up into that top 10. That's the goal. Get him up inside of the top 10, see if we can get him comfortable. We're working on trying to get Aiden a little bit better feel, understeering a little bit here and there. So we're kind of just playing around with some things and come up with something for tomorrow. I kind of feel like the underdog. I'm the only one on Yamaha R3, so it kind of gives me a little boost of confidence to do better than all these other guys. Once we get this thing dialed, we get Aiden comfortable on it, people are going to be buying Yamaha R3s, I think, at the end of this thing. P2 on the grid, so I mean, everything's rolling really good. The bike feels great. We'll see what the weather does today. It might be a rain race. I knew that was going to happen. I saw his tires cracked, and I was like, it's wet. It started coming down in some of these corners, so just try to play it safe, sit in second, and yeah, we'll see. Hopefully it uh, either dries or goes full wet. I don't want a half and half race. She raced her butt off. She ended up finishing second. And we're all just so stoked. We're stoked we got our little ripper back. And I don't know, it's been kind of funny because a lot of people keep saying like, oh my God, like, aren't you so excited? Like, aren't you so happy? And I'm like, yeah, I'm super excited, but you people all seem surprised and I'm not. Like, I expected this from her from the beginning. So I was just like, okay, here we are right on schedule. Let's figure out how to get her that W now. So in Charlotte's well, sadly I got taken out, kept the bike straight up, um, tried to get back on track. I think I came back on track 30th and passed in people, kept my chin up. It is what it is. Yeah, you know, it's racing, it's going to happen. And today it just wasn't my thing. So Rubin's racing, as you can see here, somebody tried to ride on top of ADC today. Could have been the other rider's face here. Definitely tired. We'll get this bike turned around, we'll get it cleaned up again. Um, get the other tail section all sorted out and mounted up and be ready to go for tomorrow. A lot of people would have just rode it in easy, but he definitely kept his head down and he kept pushing and he was doing good lap times and trying to make up as many positions as he can. And that's so important in instances like that. Even if we don't get the finish we want, there's still something to be learned out there about the rider, about the bike, and he did a great job. We're stoked with him like always. Sunday goals, win everything in sight. This is exactly what I expected out of her, and I expect her to keep climbing up until we get that win. I feel like we're still kind of learning who Aiden is as a rider, and he came to me before race two today, and he was like, I want you to be blunt with me, tell me the truth, what do I have to do to go faster? And I felt like you just showed that grit. It was something we talked about right before he went out. I said, I want you to go out there and learn something. I want you to do something you're proud of. He made up a lot of positions. He was inside the top 10. He got spit out of the saddle a little bit on the last lap and lost a couple spots, but we're all really happy with the work he put in this week. And I think it's showing us that we're gonna make that climb up here really soon.